hello guys good evening um it's fit again it's been a while since i, la I made the video on my channel um I'm very busy so this video will be a follow-up from um our last video the uh, e-commerce api with django rest framework so in this video i'll break it into like two or three parts so this video will be about adding token authentication to our e-commerce api so right now as you can see i'm, I'm running this server I'm running this server so i could just visit them like there's no any authentication no any security layer so i think it should be good if we can add an extra layer of security so so in form of token authentication uh, if you want a much more secure um security you can use um, jwt so i will have a future video on that also so this one is about basic token not so um and this is like a checklist you can use this to know what, what and what you're supposed to do so so the first thing is we integrate rest framework permissions into all our views our views we so um, i've not no no this is angular i've not opened let me open our code for this api e-commerce api inside vision studio code Okay, so um, now is it's open now. So, so you first, I said we are going to integrate REST framework permissions into our view. So we start by importing right at the top here in, from REST framework. From REST framework. Import. Excuse me. Import. Permissions. Did I spell that correctly? Permissions. Okay. So and then um, each each of your view class is now going to have a uh, permission classes um, permission classes uh, <clears throat> object. So I have permission permission classes permission classes for each of them. It's wrong my keyboard. Permission classes equals to the topo. So um, it's going to be these permissions. Permissions dot is indicated. Indicated. So this is basically telling rest framework that every call to this is list category view needs a sort of authentication so so we are going to add it to every view where we need authentication and feature to 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 be um to kick in so we got to copy and paste it for all all the views, all the views, I'm going to copy and paste it because I want to uh, secure each and every one of them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Oops. I don't know why. I'm messing it up, okay. STT also. We'll paste it here also. Okay. 
okay so now you have added that to oil base so the next thing we should do is to <clears throat> we add um, we add the rest framework hot stock into install apps so come to your settings.py okay it's already even opened okay wow have i added this before <laughs> okay so you're supposed to add this here rest framework dot hot stocking and then after you've done that and then um you should now create a configuration for your authentication class inside of your um this uh, settings of py so right beneath the stored apps you can just create configuration session for rest framework this will hold every of your configuration including permission classes and so on it's a dictionary so then we're going to have uh, a key of um, um default authentication classes why is the um, difficulty okay default authentication classes did i spell that correctly okay default authentication classes the value is a list so the value for the list is rest framework rest on the core framework dot authentication location dot token authentication king authentication token authentication so okay let's promote dot authentication dot token authentication then the next thing we should do is to rerun our migrations so this time once you rerun your migration um then it will migrate all the tokens to your database i'm still using the bootstrap the uh, skillite uh, database so in this e-commerce api so let's run our migration python py Okay, I don't manage the PY. I create. REST framework is authenticated. Wow, when did I write this authenticate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm just going to find and replace this. Wow. <laughs> My bad. It's supposed to be authenticated. So let's add a D at the back here. A D. Okay, so uh, now we save and we rerun our migrations. Can you see this ball of mess? <laughs> Item money.py migrate. Okay. Okay, great. So um now can you see all the tokens migrations been applied? So now we um we can go to the next the very next step now, which is to okay, we can test the token token generation now on the command line. You can I already have a Actually, if you wanted to do this, okay, let me just create a super user, create super user. Um, I already have a user, so let's call this user um, fit. Create super user. Oh, let me just say Python, create super user. Go to fill in the details. Um, oh, Python manage.py, create super user. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Create super user. Okay. Okay, so we call the username fit. Um, the password we call it uh, fit. Lucia at mail. 
www.facebook.com okay as the use as the email okay then the password super user created successfully so if you wanted to create a token for this new newly created user uh, which is the username is fate right that's a username so there's a command just do python manage.py py drf as Django REST framework it's token and then the username so from the from the command line so you could just create token for this this user so so let's let's try to do that now let's try to do that now um um okay let me click screen okay and then run that command python py drf drf create underscore token for this user fit okay can you see generated token can you see generated token for user fit so let's copy this guy right here let's copy it and put it so anytime you want to send your request you have to send the token in an authorization header so um i've been trying to open my postman i don't know what is wrong with it lately so okay this is the token for this user fit now um now let's let's come back to our api actually i still have my server running so let me come back to the api and try accessing prior to as before can you see authentication credentials not provided so um there's supposed to be a token that is passed in the header so because i can use postman let me see can i use web postman let me see excuse me let me use my web postman okay Okay, so um, let me try creating new new request. Okay, um, let me try bring it this. Let me see if I can I can make my testing in my web web uh, uh, first one. So okay, let's try sending a get request. I can't do that okay cost policy okay i'm going to make another tutorial on how you can add cost policy you need to add cost policy because of browsers accessing your api front-end apps they say react app or angular so try, try to access your api in the uh <coughs> cross origin resource sharing so so i'll make another video uh short video so i have an extension I have a Chrome extension um, called Swagger Inspector. So I basically use Swagger Inspector to test my APIs also. So let's use Swagger Inspector. It works really fine. It's cool. This is it. Let me try sending authentication credentials not provided so I can test here. So let me try getting whole products and see it's the same thing because all the views are. Uh, 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 are marked with uh, permissions that is authenticated so let's now try creating an header then um, let's call it authorization authorization then the value will be my token token concatenated with the token that you obtained then you paste it in the value and then you resend the request Voila, can you see now we have products, a list of products. So uh so uh that's just it. So you have just secured your API, so it cannot be accessed unless there is an authorization header passed with correct token. So um now now you see how it works now. I um it's pretty simple. So the next thing we'll do is to 
create an endpoint like like sort of create a url where like users can come and check on the product users can also authenticate to get token uh, in your api so so let's we're going to extend um some of the functionality of the Django REST framework auth token. So let's go ahead to, uh, let me put it in our checklist. Checklist, um, the next checklist, or oh, this is it. Finally create an endpoint or a route for users to obtain token for authentication. So I'm going to um, do that right away. Let me um, go back to our code and then Basically, all the work will be done. I usually, if I'm implementing token authentication, I usually like to make it a project level URL, a project level route. That means I'll do it inside my project URL. I'm talking about, I'm referring to this. So, so I'm going to um, do it here. Um, just um, the first thing I'll do is to extend one of their view like kind of get one of the Django REST framework auth token view uh, which is um, REST framework you import it from the top here from REST framework from REST framework dot auth token dot views dot auth token dot views import there's a, there's a view called obtain auth token obtain underscore hold underscore token underscore token so okay good this is basically what we do the the work so then create a route a path but well, what are we going to call our hot token okay let's call it api slash b1 slash out authenticate or so, let me make it a little bit more descriptive. So let's call it um, auth token. Auth token. Okay, and then you will just put this view that you are importing from REST framework dot token. Just put it right here, and then you can call it a name like uh, obtain. What do we name the real obtain auth token? So, oh, good. So this endpoint is going to have your um, token authentication. So, um, so let's save. Let's save it. So after we've saved it, I think we're good to go. So every time you visit this now, you will need to. Um, that would it will provide an interface for you to. Um, I'll come excuse me i think i made a mistake i import okay so provide an interface let me copy so that i can use it in the browser so okay my server is still running great so let's come right here and let me try to visit that url api v1 hot stocking let's see what we get Okay, method is actually a post. You send your username and your password. So you know any any request that you send in the browser tab. So is a get request. So so we're going to send a post actually. So let's say you are a new user. Let me delete this authorization header and then let's try to copy this old guy here. It's a post request. So come come right here paste it here make a post so it, the body it takes two um two parameters so you have a username so this um username i say username okay then you have a password password username password um excuse me i'm coming what was my password okay okay and then post 
Let me see if everything. Then you send. Can you see? We got we got a note token. I'm trying to expand this right here. You don't know where I go. Okay, I have to scroll down. So we sent the username and password. So this is where you can do a sort of like a, a login <laughs> to get hot token for which you will use in sending any request to obtain books, to get products, to do anything on your website. So so now we have a token. Now we have a token. Now we have a token. Now we have an endpoint. We have we have more than a token now. We have an endpoint to fetch tokens. So this is the endpoint. So um to to now make further requests, let me open another instance of uh, um excuse me of Swagger Inspector. I missed my post now, I'm sorry. I just couldn't get it to start. I don't know why. So okay, let me try fetching brooks. Let me try fetching brooks. HTTP. Uh, excuse me. I need to. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I need to come get um, product. Okay. I need to copy. Yeah, great. I need to copy that that URL. Great. So now I need books now, not product books need books so I send a get request of course it's going to tell me authentication credentials not provided so now I need to pass in an authorization header authorization header and the value will be your token you write token you write token space you can write it in title case small case any case you want works so token space, the token that was obtained from from visiting the obtain of token endpoint. So send it. You're going to get a list of books. Can you see? These are the books. These are all the books. Open source, interactive developer, reporter, and the rich, the mystery of the vicarage. We created this then. Remember, in this video here, in this video right here. Okay, so. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you liked the video. I will follow up with adding course. And next thing I want to do is to um, implement a cart, a cart feature, a minimalistic cart feature for our e-commerce API. So now our API has an authentication endpoint. So um, thank you. I hope you help you find this video helpful. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you next video. Thank you.